Another ambulance. Body so more aloe vera came. No way. Nick, do you see? Why are you on the left? Wait, you just cool. opened the cash register and woke up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I don't usually make these kinds of videos, but you saw the title. And I'm going to be real frank. No ocean. That wasn't a joke. I genuinely believe this Xbox Live arcade ass game is a hazard to the health of humanity. It's Bane, it's Bane. Oh my god, he's coming down. <laughs> it's Bane! Bane, Bane, Bane! It's still so funny, bro. He's just on a mine. Yes, I said Xbox Live Arcade, and I mean that in the most derogatory way possible. Because not only is this game very few steps away from looking like Castle Miner Z, it's been like this for the last 10 oh years. God. Wait, this is someone's house. Like, this is a cool building. <laughs> I guess that's a snake! snake. Fuck. Get up! Get on the pool table! <laughs> that's right, this game is 10 oh plus God. years old. It literally released in 2013. 2013. Wrap your mind around that. This game has been in alpha for 10 years and it looks like this. They are just now in the year 2024 entering the beta stage of the game. The beta. And it still looks like this. It plays like this. Oh! <laughs> oh shit, bro. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Open the door in the back. What the fuck just happened to me? I just like, I actually just died of cringe, bro. And before we even get into a conversation about visuals, I gotta say, I'm not the kind of person who rides or dies on quote unquote good graphics. My favorite game in the entire world looks like this. And it was released in 2020, so it deliberately looks like this. You cannot sit here and convince me that Seven Days to Die deliberately wants to look like this. Can you please bring back up the Castleminder Z comparison? Like, nigga, look at this! Man, why this road so bumpy, bro? To California. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Oh, you guys no, no, no. <laughs> Nah. Oh, that was accident. Man. They like Looney Tunes. You're telling me after 10 years of development, the devs couldn't ah. figure out how to put something nice for me to look at in this open world survival game, but they figured out how to get Tom Holland in the game? I'm fighting fucking Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> put the whole clip in Tom Holland, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, but we did make this joke for like the rest of our session. Oh my god, I just shot a kid. Just Tom Holland, bro. Just shot Tom Holland. You're not making it to Spider Man. <laughs> oh my god. You're not seeing Secret Wars. Speaking of the devs, their name is The Fun Pimps. What kind of freaky ass name is that? Their website, which hasn't been updated in a while, has this it has this sentence I really like. We're too experienced to call indie, but still small enough to do the innovative and sometimes risky things that AAA studios are afraid to try. Is this nigga serious? Experienced? Too afraid to try? Nigga, like what? Charging people $25 for this? <laughs> 
Oh my god, look at his neck! Aw, oh, hell no. Man, man. Game devs have been scamming niggas for years. You're not original. Let's take that shit down. You're not original for this. <laughs> Damn, imagine getting hit with a 15 pound barbell and a giant ass stick. Yo, you think that's cool? Check this out. You're gone. Where are you? <laughs> Wait, what is that? <laughs> what the fuck? You're on the ground. What the fuck? Is that is that a is that a mining tool? I don't know. I don't think so. No, it's a it's a robotic sledge. Sledge. Turret. Dude, uh, it, it ragdoll me. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Come to the roof with me. <laughs> about to ragdoll them all. <laughs> I'll stand under or stand. Oh my god. Cool, stay near the farm. Right. Cool, go to the just, farm. Cool, go to the farm. Just go like under, or like on the on the other frame. <laughs> wait, wait, did they on the same level? Honestly, man, I wouldn't even be so appalled at how ugly this game is if it didn't also run like absolute shit. You see, here's a, here's a fun little industry trade secret. They can't optimize the game because it isn't feature locked because it's been in alpha for the last 10 years. So this is probably one of the worst optimized games I've ever played. You gotta realize, that's 10 years of updates stacked onto each other. The game's code's cool probably looking like this image. I mean, the, the frames you get in general aren't that great, but when you have to face arguably the game's biggest selling point, the blood moon that happens every seven days, <laughs> I get it's funny, but nigga lock in. Your frames can go sub 30. My frames got so bad, I put everything on low and reduced my resolution to 720p and I was still struggling to get 60 FPS. I'm getting in here. Yes. Wait, there's probably definitely a way around, bro. Nope. I found the way around, I'm in there. I'm in the building. Gotcha. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I really Help me destroy the door, bruh! I mean, look, man, call me a hater all you want. I know Kalil's watching this right now, and he's typing up a mean-ass comment in defense of the fun pimps, but I've been watching Pokilos play the 1.0 update, and I can't stop thinking about how it's literally uh -huh. the same game. Of course, I don't have 14 years of experience in the game industry, so I don't know what the jump from alpha to beta is supposed to look like. But what I have learned, thanks to the fun pimps, is that you could now charge people twenty dollars more for the game? Why increase the cost? Oh, we just feel as though the quality standard of the game has gone up significantly from when the initial price was set over eight years ago, along with over a decade of content and improvements. New users should see the value the game offers reflected in the cost, and we hope that continued support might fund future endeavors in expanding the Seven Days to Die game even further. Shut your stupid ass! Oh. $45 for this. You're gonna lie. Exactly. This is a lot. <laughs> Yo, kill Tom Holland, bro. bro. We gotta stop saying that, bro. <laughs> we in trouble. FBI! Um, guys, I don't think my dad knows I'm home. I'm gonna haunt this nigga. <laughs> I mean, if you uh, tell him that you were still home, he probably not gonna know, right? He's just like, why are these lights on? Bro, you could you could actually like scare him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even try. To Man, going uh, on. That timing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.